The United States Department of Agriculture is offering more coronavirus relief funding for farmers and ag businesses. The new aid includes $700 million for biofuel producers, $200 million for timber harvesting and hauling, and assistance for livestock producers. U.S. Senator Tina Smith says in part, quote, Minnesota farmers, businesses, small towns, and rural areas were hit hard by this pandemic, and this funding will help farmers, ranchers, foresters, and processors, as well as other businesses, rebuild because of the serious challenges because of COVID. Speaking of farming, we're following an issue facing a few local dairy farmers who run small family operations here in southeastern Minnesota. The area's farmer-run cooperative, Ampi, where dairy farmers take their milk, will no longer be accepting product from the Alba and Rockdale creameries, leaving these smaller operations wondering where they can take their milk, something that needs to be answered by the end of this month. You may remember State Representative Dwayne Quam spoke about this about a week and a half ago with me here at 630 and is addressing the problem. All of these impacted yeah. are the smaller family farms and I believe, now I've heard second, third hand, that a large maybe 5,000 head uh, dairy farm is supplying into Ampi and that's part of the, of the reason why but it's harder and harder for the small so is that farms pushing, to do it. Is that pushing out the family farms? It is pushing farm? out the small farms because you got the efficiencies built in, uh, so that in effect they have a you know better profit margin. It's harder for the far small farms, and that's why these small creamies, Rockdale, Elba, uh, stopped you know producing and, and selling cheese and, and those products, uh, and it sort of consolidated. Um, what, what we can do is, yeah, what's next? is let the Ag Commissioner know, Dairy Association know, and they're looking. Do we have uh, capacity needs in Iowa, Wisconsin, so that, we can, that milk has a place to go? And the Minnesota Commissioner of Agriculture is weighing in on this.